the application of cryptographic technologies. All right, so let's look at the uh, the four words. Cryptography technologies ensure the security of a data transmission on the network and to protect the data from tampering and also spying. Signature technologies ensure data integrity and to prove the identity of a, the data identity of the data of a sender. All right, so here we have two things. One is called the uh, cryptographic technologies and uh, the other one is called the signature technologies. Now, PKI certificate authentication technologies verify the validity of the public key and to ensure that user access uh, secure and also legitimate networks. By using these technologies, enterprise can prevent unauthorized user from accessing their enterprise networks and also to secure a channel can be established between enterprise bunches to ensure enterprise uh, security of the enterprise data. Okay, so here are the couple of keywords uh, we have. We have the cryptography technologies, signature technologies, and also PKI uh, certificate. Uh, what are the the different functions? So let's look at the objective. Um, upon completion of this course, we should be able to describe the scenario in which cryptographic technologies are applied and also we look at the different VPN technologies. Okay, so these are the, the topics. We talk about the uh, cryptography, uh, application of cryptography, VPN overview, and also we will talk about, uh, briefly, we'll talk about the VPN configuration. Okay, so let's look at the uh, application of the cryptography. Cryptography application includes digital envelopes, digital signatures, and also di uh, digital um, certificates. Okay, what is digital envelopes? Digital envelopes is to ensure that the confidentiality of a data in transit using symmetric or maybe asymmetric encryption. Okay, so this is actually uh, the digital envelope. Okay, it's about uh, how do you encrypt uh, the information and how to decrypt. All right, so again, it can be symmetric or it can be asymmetric. Now, symmetric basically means both parties should contain the same key to encrypt and also the same key to decrypt. As opposed to the asymmetric, uh, something like our public key infrastructure, we uh, we use uh, let's say uh, A want to send to B, then uh, A will use B's public key to encrypt, and and then uh, B will use his private key to uh, when receiving, B will use his private key to decrypt. So we 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 call this asymmetric encryption technology. And um, digital signature is to ensure that the integrity of the data transit using a hash algorithm okay um, so this is um, okay so hash algorithm is is a is a key a fairly a key a new keyword uh, in our training here uh, now hash algorithm is something where we is a technology is a is a mathematic calculation where it take a whole bunch of information and then it will digest into a fixed length of a value okay now if you want to put this into uh, uh, let's say for example the analogy uh, we can think about uh, something like um, a weight scale okay I think everyone knows uh, the weight scale now let's say this weight scale is actually an uh, uh, it's an international standard which which scale all right for example uh, whatever uh, information that you put on uh, or maybe uh, any parcel that you put on top of this weight scale it will come up with a very precise value for example this thing uh, weights let's say 512 uh, gram dot one five six seven eight nine uh, two three you know <laughs> and a bunch of uh, decimal here with a gram <laughs> for example this is 512 gram dot one something 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 a lot of decimal gram okay so if we take this uh, parcel and we put it on the next weight scale 
right? An another weight scale. And guess what? This is also the same uh, algorithm, the same mathematic calculation. And this weight scale should output the same value, you know? It cannot be it cannot be something missing, you know. It cannot be like, uh, oh, this. Once you wait here, uh, you will have additional of uh, uh, another dot zero 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 one gram. It doesn't. It cannot be this way. Okay. So let's assume that hash algorithm is something like that. So whatever information that you put on the uh, on this uh, hash uh, algorithm uh, calculator, and it will actually calculate a, a fixed value here. So this is the value which actually do, um, can be transmitted over the uh, the net, all right. So, but you you cannot, okay. I repeat, we cannot take this value here, <laughs> the hash value, and then to repro reproduce the actual information. Like for example, in this case, the parcel is impossible. Okay, so this is actually the reason why uh, uh, this this uh, hash algorithm was born. Okay, and uh, later we we talk about some of the uh, hash algorithm, which is the popular one. Like for example, MD5. Right, SHA. Right, so all these are same hash algorithm, but they have uh, maybe a different number of bits. Okay, uh, some uh, uh, uses a less bit, some uses more bits. Okay, and the next term is called the digital certificate. This is to ensure the non-repudiation uh, of a data transmission by authenticating the public key using a third-party uh, authority. Okay, so um, so with a dig digital certificate, uh, somebody cannot deny that uh, I'm I'm not the one that sent the the data, the information. Why? Because um, if this packet consists of your signature, which you sign on it using your private key, you sign on it, and when you send to somebody, and if somebody figure out that hey, this is something which is bad, you know. Or you, you, uh, or maybe I, I need to uh, file a legal uh, uh, a process to sue you, you know. And uh, you cannot claim that no, no, no. This is not signed by me. This is not sent by me, right? So this is actually uh, the, the the one of the function of digital certificate. Okay. So let's look at the application scenario. Um, so we spoke about the digital envelopes, digital signatures, and digital certificates. Are apply in different type of scenarios, for, such as uh, VPN. Okay, um, so uh, yeah, VPN is one of the ap application, and uh, IPv6. Okay, uh, so you'll be surprised. Uh, IPv6, uh, since day one, they actually uh, implemented the IPv6 addresses with to to support the uh, uh, the uh, digital uh, certificate kind of scenario. Okay, as opposed to IPv4, uh, in in the in the previous in the previous years, uh, IPv4 uh, when they design IPv4, they haven't had this uh, security in mind. So, but um, it was actually uh, been been uh, uh, integrated into IPv6. Um, HTTPS login. Uh, so we, we I just spoke about the scenario earlier. Uh, HTTPS. Uh, if you want to connect to any of the website or portal. Uh, any web pages, right? So HTTPS is one of the big, big application of the uh, uh, digital uh, certificate uh, and things like that. Uh, system login authorization. So, uh, so some of the uh, uh, system, for example, uh, some of the VPN client uh, software, uh, they they actually use the digital certificate to to verify. Uh, uh, an employee, you know, when you try to access to a company, you now I I don't recognize you by your username and password. Why? Because username password can easily be uh, uh, being tampered or maybe being easily been stolen. Okay, by your buddy, by your girlfriend, or maybe your wife. You know, she he or she can easily use your name. Uh, but if you try to connect using a different machine, where this machine doesn't contain the digital certificate of the employee therefore you cannot even though you, you type in the written the, the correct username password but sorry you cannot log in so VPN is one of the uh, big application and also Wi-Fi Wi-Fi okay yeah so for those uh, uh, some of the co the corporate uh, companies uh, they will install the digital certificate on the laptop 
right? So if, if, if you want to join to the company uh, Wi-Fi system, uh, then you, you have to use the digital certificate uh, to to perform the, uh, the the login, right? Instead of using again your username and password.